Shantakaram Bhujagasayanam is one of the foremost Vaishnava prayers. It finds its place in the Dhyanam section of the Vishnu Sahasranamam. Watch our video titled Benefits of Chanting Vishnu Sahasranama Stotram How to Chant Vishnu Sahasranamam to Know the Benefits Chanting Shantakaram Bhujagasayanam regularly ends all doubts and confusion. It blesses you with a strong personality. The most important benefit is that it eliminates all fear granting you spiritual protection. An average man is constantly haunted by fear of the future. The Lord takes charge of such an individual safeguarding one's mental health. Once concentration increases, one shall gain the strength to face one's fears without succumbing to them. You become sensitive to negative energy and are able to stop it from entering your personal space. Now I shall analyze the verses. The verses are Shantakaram Bhujagashayanam Patmanabham Suresham Vishwadharam Gaganasadrusham Megavarnam Shubhangam Lakshmi Kantam Kamalanayanam Yogibhir Dhyanagamyam Vande Vishnu Bhavabhayaharam Sarva Lokaikanatham Lord Vishnu is an ocean of virtues. Each line of the verse recalls the qualities of Lord Vishnu. Shantakaram means I seek the blessings of the Lord who is the embodiment of peace. We see that Lord Vishnu is always seen lying in the resting posture unperturbed by the material world. He is the problem solver of the Devas. Creative ideas trigger only when one is peaceful. Chanting this verse quietens the mind activating the creative energy. When sage Bhrigu kicked Lord Vishnu, he remained calm without showing the least trace of anger. So comes the name Shantakaram. Bhujakashayanam means the one who sleeps on the king of snakes. Snakes represent desires that cling on to us despite our efforts to eliminate them. Sleeping on snakes means that he has transcended all desires. Maya cannot touch him. To know more about Maya, watch our video titled What is Maya? Concept of Maya in Advaita Vedanta Maya, the illusion of self. Dear viewers, Spirit Meaning Channel needs your help. Throughout the year, we conduct various initiatives like providing food to animals, supplying monthly groceries to old women and planting trees close to the sacred Govardhan mountain near the birthplace of Lord Krishna. Your selfless donations will help us reach out to the needy. The Bhagavad Gita describes seva or such service as an act of pure goodness in this age of Kali. So by whatever means possible, please consider donating to the number displayed on the screen below. You can do this via Google Pay, Phone Pay or Paytm. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Padmanabham specifically glorifies Garbodagasai Vishnu or the sleeping pose of the Lord from whose lotus-like navel Lord Brahma emanated. The Padmanabha Swami temple located in Tiruvunandapuram worships this form as the primary deity. Now, Suresham means the Lord of the Gods. It also translates as the Lord of Noble Men. Lord Vishnu always stays with those who treat the path of Dharma and have noble qualities such as honesty, truthfulness and do what is suitable for the ultimate good of all. Vishwadharam means the one who is the foundation of the universe. Without Lord Vishnu, the universe cannot exist. During the churning of the ocean, the Kurma avatar held the Mandar mountain on his back. Without Lord Vishnu's support, the universe cannot function. He is considered to be the bark of the banyan tree supporting the leaves and branches. Scientists believe that life emerged from the ocean. It is interesting to note that Lord Vishnu also rests in the Shirasagar, which is the milky ocean. Lord Vishnu is infinite and boundless like the sky and is described as Gagana Sadrisham. Megavarnam means that 
His complexion resembles monsoon clouds similar to Lord Krishna. You may also like our video titled How to Increase Love for Krishna, How to Progress in Bhakti. Subhanga means the one who has an auspicious body. Lord Vishnu is the personification of beauty from head to toe. Lakshmi Devi herself resides in his body as Srivatsa while the Kaustubha Mani adorns his chest. Lakshmi Kantam means the husband of Goddess Lakshmi. According to Vishnu Purana, Goddess Lakshmi emerged from the ocean during Samudra Manthan and was wedded to Narayana. Now, Kamala Nayanam means the one who has eyes like lotus petals. There is a very sweet pastime in the Harivamsha Parva of the Mahabharata and the Linga Purana. Lord Vishnu promised to worship Lord Shiva with 1008 lotus flowers. In order to test his devotion, Lord Shiva hid one lotus flower. Thereafter, Lord Vishnu unhesitatingly plucked one of his eyes and offered it to him. Blessed by Lord Vishnu's devotion, Lord Shiva gifted him the Sudarshan Chakra. This does not prove Lord Vishnu to be inferior to Lord Shiva. Both are non-different and are manifestations of the ever same Brahman. Yogi Bhir Dhyana Gamyam means the one who is meditated upon by the yogis. Dhruva Maharaj, the son of King Uttanapad, attained Lord Vishnu through the path of yoga. Vande Vishnu Bhava Bhaya Haram means I worship Lord Vishnu who steals all fear of the material world. Those who recite this prayer with unwavering dedication surely cross the material world as easily as one would cross the impression of the hooves of a cow. Lord Vishnu shall make one fearless and bold. He shall grant you the strength to take tough decisions in life, increasing willpower. Sarva Lokaikanatham means the one who is the master of all Lokas. All the 14 Lokas belong to Lord Vishnu. He is hence known as one's father, mother and dear friend. Now let us look into the process of chanting Shantakaram Bhujagashayanam. Ideally, a Sanatani interested in worshipping any of the forms of the Lord or his formless aspect must stop the consumption of non-vegetarian food. Lord Vishnu is clad in Pitambari or a silken yellow dress. So one must wear light colored clothes, preferably yellow. One can chant the verses whenever one has time. Now that you have seen the video and have understood the meaning of the verses, visualize Lord Vishnu during the recitation. Dhyana is a superior form of meditation. Thus the mantra is ideal for Manas Puja meditation. You may find our video titled Manas Puja of Ishtadevata, how to do mental worship of Ishtadevata interesting. If you have already taken up some form of Vishnu sadhana, Chant the verses before starting your rounds. This will speed up your spiritual progress.